yako get locked down i'm your host nolu johnson and this episode is brought to you by masi new sun here's what's coming up on today's lineup Hello everybody, welcome. Today from the Masnusan family, we are going to hear a wonderful story. It is a famous story brought to you by our friends from the mountain kingdom of Lesotho. It is the tale of Zelani. Beautiful story. Here it goes. So, Zelani was a young girl. She lived with her mother. Oh, her mother loved Zelani so because Zelani was very obedient. She always did as she was told. Now her mother worked hard every single day and she would go to work and come back late in the evening just when it was starting to get dark. And she would always tell Zelani, Zelani, do not open the door for anybody and the reason was that right in the forest where they lived there were big giants and there were bad giants what these giants would do was they would, they would go from door to door and they would steal children and eat them so Zelani's mother said the way you will know that it is me who is knocking I am going to teach you a song so she taught Zelani a song. Would you like to hear the song? Ah, in her beautiful voice, the mother would say, Zelani Nguanake, Zelani Nguanake, Tlo unke huja huje, Tlo unke dijo uje. Which means, Zelani my child, Zelani my child, come on up. Come on out and take some bread and eat it. And that's how Zelani would know that her mother was outside. Everything was going well, but not knowing that there was one giant who was watching this every single day and he was making notes. And one day he made sure that he learned the song well enough to imitate Zelani's mother. So what the giant did was he waited for Zelani's mother to go to work. And then after some time, he knocked on the door. Can you guess what he did? That's right, friends. He went and he sang the song. But of course, his voice was nowhere near Zelani's mother's sweet voice. Instead, he knocked and he said, Zelani Nguanaki, Zelani Nguanaki. Zalani was of course very clever. She said, You think I don't know that you are a giant? Go away. My mother told me not to open the door for anyone. So off the giant went. But he did not go home. Instead, he went to a bad medicine man. One of those very bad ones. There are some very bad ones. There are some very, very good ones. But there are some very bad ones. And he went to a bad medicine man. And he told the medicine man, Look here, you need to make my voice very, very sweet. Very, very beautiful. So what the medicine man did was to tell him, Listen here, giant. You take a long piece of iron. Piece of iron. You put it over a fire and you hold it until the iron gets very, very hot, until the iron gets so hot that it turns red. When that happens, then what you do, giant, is you put medicine, you put my medicine over that iron, and then you take that red hot iron 
and put it down your throat. That will make your voice very sweet. The giant did just that. Took a long iron, put it over the fire, made sure the fire was very, very, very hot. The iron turned red hot. And then when he saw that the iron was red hot, he took the medicine, put it over the iron, put the iron into his throat. And what happened? That voice suddenly became like this. Oh no, here comes trouble. Off went the giant and off he went straight to Tselani's home. Knock, knock, knock. Tselani, Mwanagi, Tselani, Mwanagi, Tlo unke di jo uje, Tlo unke di jo uje. Tselani, of course, thought it was her mother and she opened the door and what happened? The giant grabbed Zelani and off he went with her. Off he went with Zelani straight to his hut. He tied her up, he tied her up, where all his friends were ready and waiting. They were ready celebrating with a big feast and they made lots of beer. Lots of beer, they were so happy. They made lots of beer, they were ready to feast on Zelani. When Zelani's mother came home, she of course started to sing but then she noticed the door was open immediately she knew that something had happened and she went looking for her child and then she followed the sound the sound of the singing the singing of course by the giants because remember they were having a feast having lots of beer what happens to people when they have so much beer in their system they fall asleep and that is exactly what happened to the giant now remember, the giant had taken Tselani, tied her up, put her in a bag, right? So Tselani's mother came and she heard her child crying in the bag, crying and she wrecked. Every mother knows her child's voice. So what Tselani's mother did, the giants were fast asleep, remember? Fast asleep. So she softly, slowly took out Zelani and then put in all sorts of insects, snakes, bees, whatever you name it, every insect and every reptile that stings, she put it into the bag and tied the bag up and she went home with Zelani. Sooner or later, the giants woke up ready for the feast. By now, the fire was ready, everything was ready and settled. All they needed to do was to eat the child. So of course, the giants beat the bag because they thought it was a child inside there. Beat the bag. Now when you hit a bag full of insects, the insects are going to get very angry. So when the giant opened the bag, guess what? The bees and the snakes and everything, they went straight for him because they had made them angry. And he, they went straight for him. And of course, his voice was soft and beautiful, so nobody heard him crying when he went, ah, yeah, ah. Imagine a big giant going, ah, ah. And that's what happened. Ha <laughs> ha! They stung him and they stung him and they stung him and they stung him. And guess what happened to him? He fell into the big pot of the boiling water, the water that he had boiled to eat Zelane. Cho cho. Oomph, into the water. That is how the giant died. That, my friends, is the story of Zelane. It is a beautiful story reminding us that we should always pay attention. We should never talk to strangers and most importantly never ever let anyone in with your house when your parents are away thank you back to you Selani, monarchy. Selani, monarchy. Hey friends, before we start reading to the little ones, let us always remember to discuss the picture. It's interesting to hear what they have to say. Ah, so, you 
you're that old mask that everyone is talking about. The one that nobody can beat. Yeah. And you're the young man here to start all the trouble. Huh! I'll show you. Your pathetic kung fu is no match for my perfect flying fist of kung fu. Why are you talking so much? Show me what you can do. What? How are you talking without moving your mouth? Ha! Huh? I'll show you. My flying fist of perfect kung fu is just that. Perfect. You talk too much. Stop doing that. I'll show you. One minute later. <laughs> Teach me, master. Teach me. Hi, everyone. I'm Sensei Lamegi from uh, Asai New Brighton Karate Academy. And today we're going to be doing the first kata of Shotokan, High End Shodan. Before we jump into the kata, I will show you a basics uh, into the kata, like stances, punches, and blocks. So let's get right to it. The first stance we're going to do is a front stance called Zen Kokutsudachi. You just bend your front knee, and when you move forward, you press down the front leg. And now for the side view, this is what it looks like facing the side. Now, we're going to do the same stance, but with a straight punch. This is called an oizuki. Now let's take a look at the, on the side. Notice how the, my other hand that is not doing anything, it's right on top of my belt, or you can just put it right above the belt. Now we're going to do a block. We're still sticking to the same stance, which is front stance. But now we're doing a block, which is the Geren Burai. It starts from your neck all the way down. Let's take a look on the side as well. Notice how my, my hand that is not doing anything is always above my waist. Next up is another block, still sticking with the same stance, which is front stance. We're going to do an age uge, a rising block. You're blocking something that is coming from you for your head. This is called a shuto uge, a knife block. Let's take a look at the side. Now notice how my hand that is not doing anything changes and it's right in my liver. And that's it for the basic stances and blocks. Now let us move on to the kata. Now we're taking a closer look at the basics that we just did on the kata. See the Garen Burai that we started with, followed by the Oizuki. We do the same thing on the other side. Now notice how I turn facing forward. And now we include the Ageoge, the rising block. We do the same thing, Garen Burai and Oizuki. Garen Burai and Oizuki again. When facing that side, we do the same thing again. It's Garen Burai, Oizuki, and we do this three times. Now, we're going to change the stance into a back stance and shoot Oge. Now it's 45 degrees on the second count. Uh, Prinzess ist in der Haus. 
and guess what? Sizo dance up because you know all know that we put them. Who's not such a guy? Because I'm trying to watch it. Um, today is a little bit different because I'm trying to put them. Who's a dancer? Um, the exercise. So it's a warm up exercise. Yeah. So I hope you're ready, ready for dance. But today I'm not alone. Who's on the join again? Who's this? Some kita, some kita. Yeah. All right, kids. I hope some kita doesn't know the dance. So are you? Yeah, well, so she's gonna have fun. You gonna have fun. I am gonna have fun because all together we're gonna have fun and we're gonna learn. Let's take it away. And now we are about to start. Zukita, are you ready? I, I, Captain. Yes, she's ready. Are you ready, guys? Let's go. Let's take it away. Follow my lead. Thank you. 
had fun choosing guitar. I had so much fun. Until next time, kids. Thank you very much for tuning in. And remember to stay home, stay safe.